and collecting. Hey, thank y'all for y'all likes, y'all comments, and y'all subs. They are gratefully appreciated. I hope y'all have enjoyed y'all day today. We're going to jump right on into this. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Now, all messages are for you. Let's see what it is. Okay, Holy Spirit. Give me another message. What is it that you want me to say? Somebody hasn't been Yeah Somebody hasn't been Leaning upon their faith Somebody has been leaning upon themselves To try to handle situations That's why you're failing that's why you're not reaching the goal because you're leaning upon your own understanding. And we all know that you're not supposed to lean upon your own understanding, but lean upon the knowledge that God has given you. Lean upon the faith that God has put down in front of you. You've gone through this many of times before. This is not, oh, um, you know, something like, uh, what can I say? This is not a, um, how about this? This is a walk in a park for you what this is and you need to get back connected to your faith get back connected to the things that you know that will lead you through these hard times in your life enlightenment and strength that's where your strength lies your strength lies in your faith your strength lies in knowing that the divine has done this has never left you nor forsaken you he has done this for you over and over again he has given you a fresh start over and over and over and over again but what you're doing you have put him on the back burner you have learned to put the divine on the back burner and begin to lean upon your own understanding and then you wonder why things are not going you don't have the strength to take on the the battles of the world. To, when I say of the world, the things that you go through within your world. That's what I mean by the battles of the world. The things that you go through in your world that somewhat shake you up. Let's get some tarot. Yeah. When you know that your true strength comes from your faith. True strength comes from your spiritual, your spiritual workout. You haven't been working out in the spirit. You haven't been to the spiritual gym. You've been holding on. And God has just been giving you just enough backing. But you have, you have been breadcrumbing the universe. And it's time for you to get back to what you know. Yeah. You became comfortable. You became content in where you were. See, you forgot that when the divine delivered you, when God delivered you, before when he got you out you said i would never but you forgot you forgot you became content in where you were and you begin to think that it was you who was doing these things but you forgot that it's him it's him who brought you this far it's him who yep it's God who brought you this far. It's him who, give, who gave you that contentment. It's him who gave you that promotion. It's him who gave you that new job. It's him that gave you that new car. It's him that who has provided you the new keys to your home or your apartment or your trailer home or your RV. It's him. 
but you forgot you thought it was the work of your hands you begin to sing a tune of you and you forgot that it was him who healed the rift you know you forgot that it was him who began to show you that it was his hands upon your life you forgot And you're not avoiding your ego. And God has won you with his two of swords and his tempers. He wants you to take a pause. He wants you to take a break. And get back to what you know. And that's your faith. Get back to, 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 to being codependent upon him. Not yourself. Ten of Swords. That's why you're in so much strain. That's why you're having to walk away from things, move on to calmer waters. That's why you don't have the spiritual strength that you need because you you begin to um, put a rift between God and your ego. something on this magician please yeah you thought it was you who manifested that not knowing that it was God's hand you begin to I'm telling you whoever it is, I'm speaking with your ego has gotten way big bigger than what it's supposed to and you begin to feel like what's going on all these blessings and these things these open doors in your life you know was because of you no they're because of god and you you forgot to give him glory you forgot to give him praise for the things that he has done for you and and, and you just forgot and it's okay to forget i'm not coming down on you it's okay to sit back sometimes and i'm speaking see who i'm speaking to it's okay to sit down sometimes and, you know, be like, hey, I, I, I thought I was the man. I ain't gonna lie. I thought I was the man. I thought that the, all these moves that I was making, all these fresh starts, all this money coming in was because of me. And I began to lean upon my own understanding. But no, 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 no. I forgot. I forgot. That I told God that if he blessed me, I would always give him praise. If he blessed me, I would let the world know that this is because of him. I forgot. I forgot that. So now I'm over here content with what I am. Just done threw my faith to the back burner. No longer want this new path and a new spirituality and a new connection with God. No longer wanting the rewards that he has to bring by me putting my ego to the side and making him number one. I don't want that. I don't want that. So I got to pause now because my life is becoming imbalanced. I'm caring for others. Money is going here. Money is going there. I'm tired. I'm having to quit jobs that I don't want to quit I'm having to not take I'm hearing deals that I can't take because I'm already overwhelmed mm. whoever I'm speaking with may be an entrepreneur you may be an entrepreneur and you forgot, you forgot, you forgot that the reason you were able to even be the entrepreneur that you are is because of the hands of the of, of God and your ancestors and your angels upon your life. You forgot. Okay. Because things were going so good and so right. And now all of a sudden you're having to move on to calmer waters. And now you're wondering what's going on with this five of pentacles. You hear me? 
Yes, now you're wondering what's going on. Why how, Why do you have to trim down the lifestyle that you once lived? And that's because of your faith. You, 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 you put God on the back burner. You put your ego first with this three of pentacles. You didn't want to work with, you didn't want to work the work that God told you to work. You know? Yeah, you wanted to put your talent out there. You wanted to say that, boast about your talent is what I'm hearing. Instead of boasting about your faith. Yeah. But once you get back to where you so supposed to be doing, and that is speaking your faith, living this faith walk, and speaking that truth like you told God you were going to do, that's when your Ten of Cups will come in. That's when you will have the reward. The respect and success that will not end emperor that's who i'm talking to that's when you will find and collaborate with people of the same like-mindedness as you that will help you keep your rewards your respect and your success afloat this is the message 